quite like this, but because it really stands up because, uh, because uh, you guys sing it together. So yeah. Yeah. So I think that's like what's oversized white grape of a shape on a simple string which unfurls as you let it go to become 10 meters or longer as it goes up so that the radio sonde can feel the atmosphere around it in its full naked glory. It's 11 o'clock or midnight somewhere in the world. It might as well be here and we are here in our pajamas and the balloon is about this size at this stage and filled with helium. And seconds after you've let it go, it is sucked up into the wild black sky and the noising, battling sea seems to urge it on with an out of control applause from below. And it's gone so suddenly, so for surely. And you're left standing there, almost disappointed, blinking into the inky cold with your head hanging back onto your neck and your mouth open in your sticky gum boots and the salty diesel smell in your beard and it only gets exciting again when you're hunched over a computer screen inside with the meteorologists to look like alchemists at the boiling pot of leaping numbers as the weather balloon and its transmitting radio sound races through the layers of emptiness a thousand meters, two thousand meters and sends lurches and spurts of data back to where we are bobbing in the Atlantic Ocean as it shoots upwards with squiggles and digits and facts through what seems like nothing but is an actual fact the invisible sinews that keep the clouds tied to the mountains the moss to the trunk the raindrops to the snakes fish to pebbles goats hooves to cliff faces tomato green to fingertips the sea to the murmuring cracking movement of the continents and the spongy lung-like coral fans to the conversation filtering plankton and pain and matter of fact in the queue at the atm about the weather and tax and death and babies and the future and up it goes through 8,000 meters and 8,500 meters and 9,000 meters and 9,500 meters and 10,000 meters and 10,500 meters and 11,000 meters and 11,500 meters and 12,000 meters and 12,500 meters
especially the weather balloon is up there where the commercial airliners fly in straight lines through clouds and stars and shavings of moon which cannot be seen because the shutters are down and the movies are being shown and by now the weather balloon has grown to the size of, of twice this room that we're in right now due to the air pressure and it re it's reaching the end of its usefulness and the radio sound can't send information back anymore it's reached the end of its usefulness to our understanding and prediction of weather systems and the unfurling of cold fronts and winds and even those little sprinklings of God's small protons and atomic nuclei which have been traveling towards us from very far away from the herb gardens of supernovas to confirm what we've been suspecting all along. We are born fragile and dogs are our only friends. Mm -hmm.